are we feeling today, too? I am feeling wonderful today. Okay, there we go. I'm getting ready for this session. Yes, you all, I told you last time I cut my hair. Now it's actually combed where you can see it's cut. But I didn't straighten it out because I just thought I'd do curly do. And so, getting ready for my workout. And this is one of those days that I'm very focused. But not just focused, it's like time out for nonsense and lip service. And so, are you doing this one? Yeah. So, I'm ready for the session. I don't know how my body's gonna hold up, but I'm ready for it today. But if I was to give my word for the day, it would be on soul to soul connections. You know, sometimes you could have connections with people and when you start going in another direction, or not necessarily another direction, but when you start going, you start losing connections with some people and they kind of just fizzle out and disappear from your life. And then others, you bring new people into your circle and in your space um, based on where you are. So today I think my message is about soul to soul connections. And I think those are the connections that I want to make because those are lifelong connections. And so, you know, on this journey, I meet a lot of people. We um, building relationships with people that are, um, you know, hopefully will be around a while. And so today, it's, it's about still not giving up and wanting to take your circle of people with you. But sometimes people just aren't ready to go. So. The beauty of being free is part of being able to let go as well. And so I think that's my message for today is keep going, keep going, even though you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but just to keep going and eventually things will make sense to you. So kind of like today, I'm like in a haze in one sense, but like really clear on another. And so it's about just trusting the process. And I think I'm having to more, more now is trusting the process. But I can see results, you know. I can see results, I see results physically, I see results emotionally, energetically, mentally. And, and because this is a part of a bigger, um, it's about beauty of being free, it's about my journey and I'm sharing it with others, you know. And um, it's not one-sided, but so I think that's my word today is just keep going. Even though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, even though you don't see the end result, just keep going. Just keep going and trust the process. Trust that the universe is going to work everything out. Yeah, so that's my message today. So describe to people that are watching this, have been watching it for a while, we don't really talk about the impact this is having on your body. So talk to me what's actually going through your body at the time. Well, what I feel is this electricity, is that the right word, Charlie? Electric impulse. Yeah. Electric impulse that's really working and massaging my muscles. <laughs> and so it's still a massage. It's still a massage, massaging my muscles and I'm tensing my body so that the massage that's going on is not like this whoo because it is really a powerful thing because I'm working muscles on a deep level. But and why, why are you tensing the muscles? You tell me, you explain it. You're better at explaining that than I am. I'm just focused on tensing. You, what, talk you know about what happens it. if you don't tense your muscles, right? Yeah, if I don't tense, then there's, there's an issue. But Charlie can talk <laughs> about that because that's his specialty. So, uh, muscles grow under tension. And you can see a lot of guys going to the gym and doing this all the time. Yeah. And that just doesn't make sense. I mean, you got to have them under constant tension, which uh, this exercise actually um, provides. If you don't tense, then you might end up with a body strip boogie or just jump around the machines. <laughs> a lot of people get into the trap thinking that this is doing it for you and then you don't really have to do anything but you have to put your yeah you have to your work. fair share in as well you do you have to work you can't just sit here and let the impulse do it because 
what will happen if you sit there and let the impulse do it, it's work. And then you're not really getting the full impact of what it's designed to do. So, um, yeah. This is, it's a great workout because it truly is a workout. It doesn't seem like you're doing much, but you're actually doing a whole lot because you're tensing your whole body. And then you have the impulse that's getting down in there and also working. So it's like double duty. And I'm like wore out when I get done working out. And it's only 20 minutes that I'm doing this. And I be looking at that clock saying, oh gosh, just get me down, <laughs> you know. Because it is, it's a workout, and it's very hard. It's not hard to do, it's just like you've been in the gym doing a lot of push-ups and pull-ups and, and crunches and, and flanks and all those things, swimming laps, it's all of that in one. And it's, it but gives you... Still, a, you still feel really energized after Yeah, oh, I, I feel very you energized. You don't feel like a truck just no, 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 uh, no, went no, no. over you. No, you don't. I actually have energy the whole week. I know when I skip a week, my energy's not as high. And I realize that after working out here, I really do have a lot of energy. And I'm actually working. And it does. Once a week for this is really enough. I find that it really is enough. So 20 minutes out of your week, even though it seems hard when you're super busy, because like you all know, I'm working on this uh, retreat in this wellness fair and I'm like super busy right now but I have to take time of me for me and this is for me and my journey and so yeah well I thought since you're in this talkative mood today let's talk about fake book for a minute all right I'll talk about fake book but fake book ain't just online either Fake book is on and offline. Let me tell you what fake book is to me. It's fake ass people. Excuse me, can I say that on this show? It's your show. I can. It's my show, The Beauty of Being Free. So I'm taking the freedom to exercise my freedom of speech today. Now actually, Facebook, fake book. There's a lot of wonderful people on there, but there's a lot of people that just be sitting in the lurk just I don't know what they be doing anyway. Some people don't have a life. If you remember what I said to you a couple of years back, I said, I don't understand people lurking in the background. I don't understand that. I said, I, I don't get it. And I delete that. I had about 5,000 friends. I'm down to about 150 friends now. I have, I just started deleting. But instead of deleting, you know what? You don't really have to delete people from your life. People you just start living your truth and people disappear. So I'd rather have it gently. I do it that way. It's called energy. And I use energy to force people out of my space. Because what happens... What happens is two things cannot occupy the same space at the same time. So that means if your energy ain't jiving with me, you can't stay in my space. And that's all I do is start living my truth even more powerfully and it'll run up folks that don't fit, their energy don't fit in my space. So that's what I do. So really, what I find is you don't have those kind of people just online, you have them offline as well. And I think where I'm at is because I'm in my authenticity. All right, just a second, let me get this right. Oh, okay. I find that I'm connecting with new people and oh, some people are just moving from my sphere. And that's okay. Sometimes it's hard because you want those people to be around. But, you know, if it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. <laughs> that's what my auntie taught me. And it's true. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Okay. So, that's the thing. So, you know, I'm, I'm at a period of growth and I love to take people with me because I'm very selective in who I let close to me anyway because I am a sensitive soul and I love people but I like soul to soul connections and so I'm, I'm about making, ooh, just a y'all, uh, I'm about making soul to soul connections and maybe we just don't jive. So, oh, 
That's what it's at. So fake book, yes, online and offline. That's what that is. Because these relationships online have to be made. It's not just virtual reality. They got to be made real. What's a real and tangible way? I've worked with people for years that I've never met face to face. And they're some of the closest people to me. I met my husband online, you know? And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of things to try our relationship. Yes, sometimes do I want to throw him back? Yep, and I'm sure sometimes he want to throw me back, you know? But... Unfriend, delete, block. Yeah, unfriend, <laughs> delete, block, absolutely. I'm kind of feeling like blocking right now, but I know that I can't necessarily do that because I made a delete. commitment, swap legs. Because I made a commitment, but everything has to flow a certain kind of way with me right now because this journey, yeah, you are watching me work out and I'm taking you on my journey with me about the beauty of being free, but freeing is also freeing yourself of dead weight. And what I find online and social media is there's sometimes a lot of dead weight and my social circle is not just online. My social circle is in real life. And those are the relationships I want to cultivate. So I have people that I work with online that I've never met face to face, but we have taken those conversations to telephone, to Skype, to whatever. Okay. And, um, okay, just a second. Ooh, that one's, ah, okay. Let me get my balance. All right, just a second. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me get this posture right. That's it. Okay. Good. You can also just um, put your hand down in case you. So just okay. Come back. back. Like back. That's it. Good. Okay. Yeah, I see you looking. Am I online? Yeah, I'm online. No, for real. So, basically, you asked me to talk about fake book. Fake book is not just online. Fake book is fake people around you. And really building real, meaningful, you know, relationships and not just something that's just surface and shallow. You know, I know you may not necessarily be as close to everyone that you deal with. Okay. But, um... Each, I think, connection we make when it's a soul-to-soul -soul connection, it's mutually beneficial. And those are the kind of relationships. So, yes, I know when you say fake book, you meant Facebook, but you get fake people around you, period. And those are the relationships that I'm letting go of, is fake relationships. There's no real meaning to them, you know. So, that's where I'm at. And that's what the beauty of being free is about, is being free to be yourself in all your glory and all your splendor. Woo! But at the same time, okay. But at the same time, letting people also be them, oh, themselves as well, you know? And there's usually a convergence. So, okay. Ah, oh, this is hard, but. So, back, back straight. Yeah. Okay, back straight. Okay. Yeah. And you can remove your hand now. Okay. Oh. All right, people. Okay, so I think I answered your question, didn't I? Yeah? No? All right. So that's my rant for today. I ran on Facebook. Facebook. I'm ranting today. And I am clearing my space. That's precisely what I'm doing. I don't have to hold in. None of you all have to hold in what you're feeling. You have a right to speak your truth. And I invite you to speak your truth because I'm darn sure gonna speak mine. All right, I don't, silence isn't golden. You tell somebody who was raped that silence was golden. That's not golden. People should speak up, speak their truth, be who they are. All right, so that's my message for today. It's not a happy, feel good message, but it's one that I think I need to share for me. So, Diana! Ingram! How are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for my session today. I appreciated it. My pleasure. How was that? Good. Very good. Um, you let yourself be coachable. You listened. You tensed. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Right. Um, 
Yourself. What's been going on with you? So, on Sunday, oh, myself and Charlie oh, watched Bohemian Rhapsody. If you know, oh, Queen, right. Bohemian Queen. Rhapsody. Yes. Yeah, so they made a movie after uh, the band Queen, yeah. their journey. Yeah. And it was inspiring, it was enlightening, it was ups and downs, obviously. For Queen fans, we know what happened to Freddie Mercury, how he ended, how his life ended. But it was a movie about how hard work pays off and how you need to invest in yourself. Yes. Talking about investing in yourself, yesterday we've been to have a massage. So we unwinded like anything for the second time in six months. We partner up with Loroma Therapies and uh, Lauren and Jay, they come to train here with us and we go there and we have a massage. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to spend even half an hour for yourself, once a week. It was a mind-blowing experience to just let yourself be guided, help to get relaxed by somebody else. That's so that's what happened this week, that was boom. Oh, that's, that's what did it do for you? So I had an uh, Indian head massage, and you guys just need to do it, I can't explain to you. Same with our workout, I can't talk to you about it, I can't explain to you how it is, just ah. do it. Do and it. since having the massage, what's been the benefit of it moving forward since the massage? Have you seen the benefit? Yes, definitely. So immediately after, I felt more relaxed. So in my experience with my clients, I can see the stress on their shoulders of the way they work out. I can see it. And it's a major challenge for many of them to relax, to unwind. So I've been told I am very, very stressed. And I carry a lot of stress here on the back of my neck. So it helped me. It clear my mind and it helped me understand how important it is for me to focus on myself so I can give out to you guys my energy, my good vibes, my, my everything, my expertise. So yeah, I'm going there back every week now. Wow, fantastic. So I can recharge. Talk to me about community and um, Body Street. What's the vision of Body Street now? You've been here a while. How are you now looking to connect with other people in the community. So, the plan is to send Charlie to the business meeting actually uh, next Wednesday. Better business? Yes, better business. That's the plan. I'm going to enroll him just after we finish the session. He doesn't know it yet, but <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> so we were just talking about that, Diana, about uh, Body Street connecting with the community yes. and how important that is. What are you doing to make that connection to local businesses and the worthy community. So as I previously mentioned, Charlie's going to go Wednesday to the meeting. Best, uh, best, better business. Yes, to better business. So hey, hey, you're signed up. You have to... Charlie, your initial reaction to this. <laughs> what meeting? <laughs> the better business uh, thing at the town hall. So we, they've got hundreds of different businesses from within and worthy. Yes. yes, and you're going. Yes. So are we going to see you in a suit and tie or are we going to see you in Body Street gear? Probably Body Street gear. There you go. That's it, yeah. son. And I'm going to have the massage on Wednesday. Woo! Guess who's not having it? <laughs> Mister. <laughs> Charlie. Any, any that was below the belt. <laughs> below. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about like how you guys have like settled in now here. I mean, I talk about it every week, but I always like to hear your thoughts on community, things that are going on in the area, things you may see that may catch your attention or make you laugh. Is there anything this week you've seen within the area that made you laugh or giggle or made you angry? Make laugh? Uh, yes, for example, when seagulls make food from the victims outside, are you, you seeing it happen? Every day, this is their main area where they uh, take the food from people. <laughs> and to be honest, we are here most of the time. Yes. Yes, and we are trying, we are taking steps towards connecting better with the community. So we're getting there, yeah? It's baby steps. So we started by crawling, we can't simply run now. Uh -huh. We're starting to walk. Okay. So, 
that's our insight. Yeah, it's just slow steps. Uh, yeah. Our business just grows gradually. You can't go from um, zero to hero in, in one night. Um, it takes a lot of work. But it's like a workout, isn't it? It's like your workout. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it won't take 20 minutes to get I mean, it done. We, we don't sell the magic pill. And, yes. And this is not the magic pill either. Absolutely. Uh, growing I think it's a magic pill. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a magic pill. It is, it's really different. See, that's the thing. People don't look at the magic in the process. There's a lot of magic happening in here and other places. So yeah, no, it's not like you take a pill and all of a sudden all your weight goes away. It does take work, but it's magical. And that's, that's magical. the problem. It's yeah. magical. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Just to add. Yeah, that was a good one actually. <laughs> so, so, I also want to talk about, for a second, um, in terms of your clients, how have you been getting on with different clients here? How have you found it? The experiences? Generally, like, you know, the different, different type of clients you had come through. People are different. Yes. And that's the beauty of it. That's what makes this place and this environment beautiful. We have different levels of relationship yes. with each and every of our clients. Yes. With some of them, we have different types of conversations. With some of them, we're still bounding, especially with the new ones. We yes. get to know each other. And it's amazing the things you can find out, the things you can learn, and how you can help them mm -hmm. from the things that say. If, for example, they don't sleep well or... I had somebody coming to, to, to tell me that uh, because of stress, she started eating like anything. So then I know oh, she has an emotion attached to food. So it's a different type of approach. It's a yeah. different type of what we need to do with them. Yeah. I want to also, but just for a close, I want to talk about the incident that happened early on with me today with the, the muscle jamming. Um, Talk to me about that, because you said you had a similar experience as well that happened with yourself when you've been training. So especially with the tricep kickback exercise, the one that you did, yes. that is an exercise where the impulse for the arms needs to go down so it doesn't come as a shock for yes. your tricep as you do it. Yes. Um, you can have the impression that the fist might go uh, back, might, like, like it might snap, Yes. or you can feel it's too much in the tricep, that's why you need to get it just right, not yes. too low. Not too high, so just right. Fantastic. Charlie, anything you'd like to add for today, your experience this week? Um, yeah, well, actually, because you were talking about triceps kickback, that's my favorite exercise. <laughs> so I, I really love to go high on my triceps when I do that exercise. Obviously, they, they're just a small uh, muscle group, not as high as the legs. Yes, you've got to be a bit more mindful and reduce the intensity on the loop. Other than that, it's fine. I mean, seriously, in physiotherapy, nothing can go wrong. If, if you're on a high intensity and you're trying to show up, yes, yeah, not the best option. But other than that, uh, it's kind of a cool exercise. So, I guess we'll see you next week at Better Business. Um, I guess so. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> I'll just uh, close off the rest for today's session. Um, did you all give your word for the day? That was their word for the day. What was the word for the day? What was the word for the day? Connection, businesses. Yes. yes. Relax, focus on yourself. Yes. yes. Important. We talked about so many things today. Yeah, yeah. We did. So I did that as a, yeah. So yeah, I agree. Focus on yourself um, and connection, soul to soul connections. Yeah, so I think it's all, that's really it. I said my piece. How was your training session today? My too? training session was awesome as usual. Um, I was so tuned out from the difficulty of the session and more tuned into, you know what? I got this and I'm not going to allow any force to take me off my square as they say. I got this and it's right now when I'm here in my workout, I, it was about me. I wasn't worried about anything else, it was about me and that's in essence what it was. Yeah, so being in that space was where I needed to be. So I agree. Self and connections. And each of us have a soul mission. So, you know, being true to your soul mission, that's key. So you don't get off your soul.